Wait, uh... Nick, you're here! Oh, uh... What? No, that was a... No, no! No, the door... The door was open, Nick! Uh, S Space Dandy, you... You can explain it! Space Dandy was there! Space Dandy, the door was open! Tell... Tell Nick, please! Nick knows where I live. <laughs> yeah, Mar Mario, it's a scene in there, man. Stay out here where it's safe, dude. Stay at the bridge. Welcome, and thank you for the follow. Does Mario bring you here? My weary traveler of Twitch. I mean, I would hope so. <laughs> yeah. Legit, Lakitu's, you know, like, like, it was like, once I cross this bridge, I'm literally never coming here again. This bridge kind of sucks. Hey, we're out of Bob on Battlefield. Oh my god, you remember? I don't think I've told my first kiss story on stream, Nick. Yeah, the pace pocket as I long jump into a wall. God, Nick, do I get into this? Do I get into the first kiss story? What, an, what a fucking experience that was. Holy shit. I'll let Nick be the decider. I have to? Okay. So. There me and old D-side were, alone in his room. No, I'm just kidding. D-side was not my first kiss. <laughs> no, I didn't kiss bread. First of all, I kissed my own hand and I kissed Barbie dolls. To practice on, okay? So ha have a, I got a little more self-respect than that, okay? The bread came later. Dude, Barbies were pretty hot when their tops were off. When I was a little kid, I was like, damn. Barbie could get it. Um, anyway, so I've been practicing on Barbie and practicing on my hand. Started talking to this girl named Katie. Great girl. We were talking on the phone constantly. We were like a telephone boyfriend and girlfriend. You know, had the butterflies in the stomach. Things are going really well. We're telling each other we love each other. Cause you know, like 12, I'm like 12, 13 or something. I don't know, like 11, 12, I don't know. Like 12, 13. So we're getting really close. Now. We decide. I haven't. I haven't missed incredible doll that I feel shame that I just in my love life. So you feel my pain, Pepe. So we decide. Oh no. We decide that we're gonna be dating. We're gonna be boyfriend and girlfriend. You know, we're telling each other we love each other. All this stuff. We're dating now. So. What do dating people do? Well, they kiss. But we hadn't kissed yet. So, we talked about it on the phone. We planned out this kiss. That was the first mistake. Because as we're discussing it, my anxiety is building in my head. I'm thinking about this moment, and it's just making me extremely uncomfortable that I'm going to have to do this thing. You know, I don't know how I'm going to do it. It feels good on my hand, and it felt good on Barbie. But, uh, you know, how's the real thing going to translate? I don't know. It feels good on plastic. Hold on, Gregabyte Strat. I got it! Gregabyte Strat, first time on stream. 
Um. Where was I? <laughs> he missed it. <laughs> so we planned on kissing at her grandparents' house. No, her grandparents were awesome people. They even bought me an old D side. PA system because we had just started playing music and we would perform for them. Oh, yeah, always fine, except the one the one time I hit it, of course, Pepe. Oh, penguin. So we planned on going to her grandparents' house, sitting on the couch in her living room, and we were gonna kiss. Now the issue with the living room was it was an open scheme. So you look to your right, there's an open pathway. You look to your left, there's an open pathway. So in my mind, there's eyes everywhere. So we're sitting on the couch and I tell her like, I can't do this. I can't do this. You know, you, your grandma's gonna come in and I'm gonna freak out. She's gonna hate my guts if she sees us kissing on the couch. So Katie says, okay, you know, no problem. We'll put it off. We can do it at my house and we can shut the door to my room. I'm like, okay, well that makes me feel a little better. We'll shut the door, we'll have some privacy. Fine. So time goes by. As it always does. I end up back at her house sometime later. A week later. Who knows when it was. We continue to talk on the phone before then. We get to her room. Now my heart is pounding. I am so incredibly nervous about this moment. It's been racing through my head. It's all I can think about. Oh, fucking Dark World. I have to be talking about this. Let me hit the switch. Okay. So she shuts the door. I'm looking into her eyes. I'm incredibly nervous. I must have forgot at some time during this process the ability, the ability, the ability to swallow saliva. Because as the moments are going, saliva is just pooling into my mouth. So, we lean in. Oh no. The nerves are still getting to me. Of course. I mean, who could blame me? We lean in. Our lips touch. But as our lips touch, I feel a warm trickle of saliva escape my mouth. The saliva escapes my mouth and it drops onto her fucking chin. So I can feel the drool coming out. I open my eyes and sure enough, I'm drooling down her chin and it's falling on her chest. I freak out because I see the drool coming down. So as I freak out, I get even more nervous and I bite as a nervous reaction and I bite her bottom lip. I called my mother immediately and I told her to pick me up. I hung my head in shame. I left and I broke up with her. And I thought I would never kiss again. That was the story of my first kiss. Like three years later, I did kiss again. Yeah, spoiler. Went well the second time around. That is short story potential. It's all true, man. Nick, Katie on the line, confirm it. <laughs> it was so traumatic, dude. I really was traumatized after that. I felt so bad about myself. I'm like, wow, I'm never going to kiss a woman. I'm never going to, like, it was bad. Just another moment in time. Yahoo! 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 
all the show drinking stuff from that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Nick, the shoe drinking. It had it, it did its damage. It obviously had its mental toll. Oh, this fucking star, man. I don't know why this star is kicking my ass today. Oh, God, and the tall jump. It's so bad. <laughs> There's old D side. You know, it never surprised me when he pops in around Lethal Lava Land. I know he's waiting. He's easy seconds gone. Classic star, really. Just a part of the life run. I just read that, Pepe. <laughs> yeah, the kiss was just a part of the life run. That's it. Lost seconds on that split, Pepe. I'll tell you what. Lost vital seconds on that split. That's how it's done. Wait, did I get the Toad Star? I did. <laughs> I was about to have a conniption. Almost. Alright, with the good MIPS, we're back in this thing. Classic, this fucking tail fin. Zero cycle. Fucking talking about. That's what I'm fucking talking about. Let's fucking go. Fuck. 
Preach. Preach. Come on. Yes. been here before. Be here again! Let's fucking go! I'm gonna cry, man. Oh, I'm shaking, man. Oh, my God. Oh, I've worked so hard, dude. Oh, fuck, man. I'm sorry, man. I'm, <laughs> I'm just happy. And it's all thanks to you. Thank you, Mario. We have to do something special. Here we go! Listen, everybody. Let's bake a delicious cake. Mario. Oh, God. Oh my god. It's a fucking grind, man.
<sighs> Thank you guys. You know you don't have to do that, man. I'm. I'm <laughs> I love you guys. Thank you, man. Thank you. I'm sorry for t crying. <laughs> I just thought uh, too much emotion. You know what I mean? I just keep failing and keep failing and stuff. Thank you so much, Shannon. Thank, thank you guys, dude. fucking racing man <sighs> Christ Thank you Sheeny <laughs> CJ I just broke a fucking milestone man I couldn't be better I couldn't fucking be better. We're in the 17s. We're in the 17s. Gregobite, we're 17 runners now. I love this game so much, man. Everybody that's here, I appreciate it. A celebratory shoey for all the work. Nick, we are the champions, is coming. We worked really hard, and we're here to all of you. Cheers. Sweet, sweet victory. 